on to the next foolery of the day. Now, have you ever wondered why anybody in their right mind would see fraud happening as a trend and then say, hey, I'm going to go jump on that trend as well. Now, to you, that may make sense. But to a lot of young kids right now, that didn't make much sense. So they went and jumped on this trend, which people are going by called J the chase glitch. Now, a little bit of context, what's been happening, and I'll break it down to you. There's a lot of young kids running around right now doing what people have been doing since the beginning of time, dropping checks in a bank and fake checks and hoping to get a deposit. Now, there was a few people that hit just like it always is, but there's a lot of people in debt now, but you know what the worst part is? They're on camera. So if you haven't heard of this chase glitch, let me break it down to you. Apparently, a lot of people have been falling for this foolery, but when you go look at credible sources, a lot of people at Chase who really work in corporate are just laughing at this foolery right now because all they did was rack up more debt that people just have to pay back. And word on the street is that the people who did this are now gonna get uh, probably ruined relationships with other banks because Chase is gonna spread this information across the board to other banks until they get their money back. Now, mind you, people have dropped a lot of money in these accounts, but I'll let this guy who's been going viral himself, break it down even further on what this whole glitch actually is. Talk about that Chase glitch. So two things been going on with Chase um, from what I gather. One is if you have a Chase account and you have a card, you're trying to insert your card to the ATM is not working. So you're able to, you know, like take your phone and mobile scan. So when you mobile scan after you complete whatever it is you're doing at the ATM, the window doesn't close out. So if you don't go through all the prompts, somebody can come behind you and just, you know, take money out your account. Why you wouldn't do it to the end, I don't know. But that's how some people been getting scammed. I've been seeing people saying people been putting glue into the car readers so your car don't go all the way in and then, you know, it's going to prompt you to use your phone, use your tablet. That's one. The second one is basically like them approving loans up to like, I done seen 20K, 90K. I done seen a good amount of numbers, like just hearing it from like different social platforms, Twitter, whatever it may be. You might get through. But the thing is, that shit ain't like, you know, the PPP loan where a lot of people got away with it. If you do that Chase shit and you get all that money and, you know, you don't pay these people back or that shit shows, Chase will alert every other bank that you try to go to. And you may possibly never be able to get an account. You'll have to fucking keep your money in your pocket or under your mattress. So it's like, in the long run, for the scammers, you know, run that shit up. But, like, for normal people, man, I wouldn't fuck with it. That's all. That's all the info I got on that chase shit. Pretty much what's happening here is a classic old drop a check, pull the money out. So traditionally, what you would see happening with these scammers is you would see a person like, yo, bro, who got chased, tap in, right? As he said, tap in. Oh, I done tapped in and now I'm tapped out. People would say, yo, who got chased, tap in. And they will go get these kind of checks. They'll get these fake checks that usually are not detectable by the system. And they'll drop them in your account. Use your account as the dummy account to go in the negative. But then they tell you, you have to break bread with them. So they kick, they walk away with the profit because all they did was provide you with the blank, with the, with the check, with the fake check that's going to be passable and get approved in your account. So if you don't understand still your personal account, I would come up to you if I was a scammer, say you got a good relationship with Chase, how long you had your account, it's been over for this amount of time, I'm going to write this check for you. It's not a real check, but I'm not going to tell you that. And when I put it into your account, you're going to see $15,000 in there. Now, what you got to do is take that money out. As soon as you get it, you give me five and you keep 10. But really, you don't get to keep your 10 because your account goes negative 15,000. And now your relationship is ruined with them as a whole. So that person who keeps his five, he's doing that with 15 other people. So he's walking away scot-free while you are in the red and have a negative relationship with a bank. So for the people who are doing this, that are looking for long-term relationships with bank, I mean, JP Morgan and Chase are one of the original uh, people who have wealth 
put inside of America. If you look at an old documentary called the, the People Who Built America, you have the Vanderbilt family, you have the Rockefeller family, and you have the JP Morgan and Chase family. So when I see people running around dropping checks in their account and not understanding that you are literally putting yourself at a point where let's say cash is no longer valuable in America and everything is strictly digital and they only want you to have digital accounts and you went and dropped the check in your account for $10,000 and you ruined your relationship with every single bank in the world. Now, if you think you're gonna get away with this, you will just be fooled. What's up, y'all? See this bank right here? They coming after all of y'all. I know friends of mine, <clears throat> well, I'm not, yeah. A couple friends of mine or acquaintances, they try to put me onto this. And I'm like, nope. Because ain't no way you finna scam one of the biggest banks in the world for a quick come up. Like, Chase got cameras for a reason. And I'm pretty sure them all, they're one of the highest quality capturing cameras in the world. It's a bank. It's <laughs> Chase has been Chase for many years for a reason. They don't play about their money. They finna get ya. Fast money is not always good money. He's 100% right. Fast money is not always good money. But you can't really tell that to a kid who's up $20,000 right now. And the thing is, it hit for some people. Some people had the opportunity to withdraw the money and majority of other people had a seven day hold put on their account. So this is where the discrepancy comes in. People made it seem like it was working better than it was because that's the job if you're the plug who could drop the checks. You gotta make it seem like the play is working, the play is running, so other people wanna run the play with you. But my question for a lot of black America is, when are we gonna realize that we need these relationships with these banks? Because when you look up 10, 15, 20 years, and you realize how many times you could have made 10,000, how many times you could have made 5,000 doing the right thing, and now you're literally moving like a person who got a felony trying to find a good job. You look foolish. We're ruining our reputation with these banks. And then the worst part about all of this is guess what? You put it on camera for the whole world to see, my friend. So when I see these kids running around, bragging about running the play, bragging about dropping a check, since when do we put crimes on camera? And this is what I don't think people really understand, that the government, these people have real money. These people need the government needs relationships with people like JP Morgan and Chase. That's why there was always people coming about, they're contributing to the climate change, the climate disaster, they're funding it. These people have their hands in better pots than you could probably ever imagine. They have no problem letting y'all com commit fraud, putting y'all in more debt because debt to them will always be repaid, no matter if you think so or not. But like I always say, man, you let me know your thoughts because your opinion is just as important as anybody else's. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Was this a good play to run? Do you know anybody who was involved in this play? And if you did, I hope you pray for them. Peace.